Which lines from the passage most strongly suggest that India has experienced social change? And then we've got a bunch of line citations. So what I want to do is boil this question down, rephrase it if possible, and really all I want to do with that is just three words, India, social change. That's all I'm looking for. And then I want to return to the passage and just see what works, what applies where. I'm just going to look at those lines and see if there's evidence that suggests that that line has anything to do with social change in India. So, uh, lines 31 to 32. There was, to she insisted. Okay, 31 to 32. There was no need, she said. Oh, really, she said. This is too much, she insisted. Nothing to do with social change. Cross that right off. Lines 42 to 44, they both to elders. Here we are at 42. They both stooped gently to touch Chotomama's feet and Sandeep's aunt and his mother's feet, a traditional greeting and a mark of obeisance towards one's elders. Okay, that I don't know if that's def necessarily about social change per se, but it is an element of tradition and social behavior. So let's not cross that off for right now. Lines 46 through 49. This was to religion. 46. This was half a token gesture towards modesty and half towards the new modern India, Nehru's secular India, free of ritual and religion. And that feels very much about social change in India, right? The new modern India that no longer has as much ritual and religion or has none. It's secular. Uh, that feels like a very strong candidate for the right answer. I'm going to put a little star by it. But let's take a look at 62 to 65, it made to sparseness. All right, 60, 61, 62, it made. It made one remember that poverty meant displacement as well as lack, while austerity meant being poor in a rooted way within a tradition and culture of sparseness, which transformed even the lack, the paucity, into a kind of being. So while we have the word tradition here, I, I think that this is about what it means to be poor rather than social change in India. So I'm going to cross that out. So with D eliminated and A eliminated, I think we can pretty safely rule out B because although it has to do with tradition, it's not really about social change in India. So I'm going to strike it because compared to C, B is simply not as strong of a candidate. It does not meet our test. It does not match our test. But choice C absolutely does. I looked at this and I'm just diving right into the text now that I have my three word test, India social change. And here we have a reference explicitly to a new India uh, personified by Nehru. And that is why I am choosing C. So here's the thing about questions like these. When you know you're dealing with a citing textual evidence question, it can help to simplify the test you're using when you're going back to the passage. In this case, it was, okay, I'm looking for lines about social change in India. And I can go back and say to myself, social change in India, social change in India, social change, I'm, as I'm scanning the choices. And, and this is a lot easier to do, right, than which lines in the passage most strongly suggest that India has experienced social change. And doing that like four times. Simplify the question stem, you know, rephrase it in your own words, and then use that as a test against the choices. Keep it short so that you can hold it in your mind so you can test it against each option.